we are living in the middle of the impact of climate change. Here in, in La Paz, for example, temperature will increase two or three degrees. Earth is suffocating. For a city like La Paz, where the air is already thin due to the altitude, the threat of climate change can be keenly felt. Without the rainforests as its lungs, our planet would have died long ago. It is these lungs that are at risk now. We can see this in Bolivia, for example. It is estimated that the South American country loses an area of forest equivalent to over 1,000 football pitches every day. Deforestation is also accompanied by a dramatic decline in biodiversity, with at least 200 species considered to be at risk of extinction. Despite its relatively small size, Bolivia is one of the 15 countries with the greatest biodiversity, so the effects may be disastrous. José Navi, an ecotourism guide, comes from the jungle village of San José de Uchupiamonas. For him, biodiversity is not just a word, but an essential ingredient for life. Biodiversity is very important. For example, mycorrhizae mushrooms live in all the roof of the trees, right? This mushroom help to the tree to get uh, minerals, you know, like uh, sodium, potassium, magnesium, nitrogen, and uh, all this mineral because this ground is very is quite poor of nutrient. This uh, mushroom help to the tree to get this to be survivor, you no, know, to get be be better. Thanks of this mushroom. No, the, the, the jaguar can exist, no? the biodiversity can exist. As head of the Wildlife Conservation Society in Bolivia, Lillian Painter is dedicated to preserving biodiversity. The Bolivian native is especially committed to the area where José Navi comes from, Madidi National Park. Madidi protected area is the most biodiverse uh, protected area in the world. This area is, is important um, for the world because it is one of the last wilderness uh, areas that are intact and maintaining the full community of uh, biodiversity. Medidi National Park was established in 1995 and extends from the depths of the Amazon to the peaks of the Andes. More than 30 indigenous groups call the territory home. There is no greater biodiversity anywhere in the world. So this park, there are already confirmed within the park 1,029 species of birds, which is more than all the birds in, for example, North America. More than 300 species of fish, probably 300 species of mammals, and 250 species of amphibians and reptiles. 5,000 species of plants already confirmed in the park. Raising the money needed to effectively preserve this biodiversity is a constant challenge, as with virtually all protected areas in developing countries. Bolivia is no exception. Medidi is co-financed by the Legacy Landscapes Fund, which KFW supports on behalf of the German federal government. This is exactly where the Legacy Landscape Fund comes in, by providing funding and thus giving the Bolivian government and the Nature Conservation Authority an opportunity to maintain the nature reserves in the long term. The Legacy Landscapes Fund is a natural heritage fund supported by Germany, France, private foundations and conservation organizations. It brings together private and public donors to provide long-term, consistent financing for conservation areas in developing countries that are key for biodiversity and ecosystems. I think the, the Legacy Landscape Fund that um, has been established through, through, the, through KFW has, um, has recognized the importance of um, conserving these last remaining, remaining wilderness um, areas because of the triple crisis that the world is facing, climate change, biodiversity loss, and global pandemics. Natural areas like this are, are the solution to those three um, uh, crises. The Legacy Landscapes Fund has secured basic financing for Medidi National Park and a further six pilot sites for the next 15 years. The area is managed by Wildlife Conservation Society, led by Lillian Painter. WCS prioritizes partnerships with indigenous communities that live in the area. 
So for many years, um, local people, unfortunately in some areas of the world, were ignored by conservation efforts. But it's kind of evolved from being, you know, conservation with local people to conservation by local people. Protected areas can only be managed effectively and sustainably by involving the local population and respecting nature and human rights. Well, for us, Medidi National Park is special because we're from here, we're local for the most part. Here, we form part of the indigenous people who live in Medidi National Park. This is our home, actually. We're born here. We save this uh, a place for many, many years, and we want to keep saving for our next generation. With this approach, the Legacy Landscapes Fund aims to protect 30 areas by 2030 and contribute to halting long-term species loss and mitigating climate change through natural solutions. This is the decade of decision. The coming years will decide whether we can indeed solve the biodiversity and climate crisis.